ما داري يومن ما سلام ما حكون في سلام دي دارفور. We have to understand what is the the foundation and background to this conflict. Through education, we believe we can do a lot and start lifting these people from the, the deep hatred. In any emergency, it is the children and women, those are the most vulnerable part of our society, are first affected. These are people often who would have lived in very remote locations. They would have lived in very, you know, tight communities, places where, you know, everybody knew each other. These people left their places again seeking safety and protection. A lot of atrocities have taken place in their presence. And so they have all the hatred. These camps are very basic, they're very cramped. Um, and they've been forced to just leave everything behind. And I suppose many of them have nothing except what they've been given in the IDP camps. أنا الأطفال كانوا تعبانين شديد وبرضو جابوا لهم تغذية للأطفال فالمهم يعني قدروا حيوا الناس أنغزوا من الموت The number of IDPs in South Darfur is more than about one million. And the total population affected is about 2.2 million. Recently, Watashkan, about three kilometers from here, it is also now more than 45,000. It used to be about three weeks ago, 25 to 30,000. This is a huge area. Defour is a logistically very expensive place to operate. It's an expensive operation. And so when you come together, you're able to have a much bigger impact. So our international partners are not all exclusively involved just in emergency and humanitarian work. Many of them have recovery and development operations. Okay, I think the big thing is the expertise from the two networks. I mean, among the network members, there are agencies with long expertise in humanitarian intervention. They also have a lot of experience of working with, in, within, with national partners and with national structures. So that expertise can be brought into the program from the start. We are aiming to peace building as the main issue because constructing a water yard will join all parties together we form a committees uh, consisting the nomads, the displaced uh, people, the host community, and they accept the idea. And uh, no conflict will start in the water yard because they know that we are all, they are all benefiting from this water yard. These children, we are concentrating on them because they are the future. So for us, if we want a bright future for Sudan and for Darfur in particular, we need to work with these children to get this hatred out of them. Villages have been burned down, people have been killed. Who are these people? They may be their parents, their brothers, sisters. They are traumatized. Okay, then what, what should we do now? What can we do for this? We introduce uh, psychosocial support training to the teachers to be able to identify these traumatized children. My name is Adam Hamid Atim. I am a peace building coordinator at NCA Accaritas. We are providing services, basic uh, services for people uh, affected by the war. We bring them and we share with them to draw 
what is their view and what their experience in the past. The drawing is very important because we are trying to address what they are thinking, the children is thinking, what is their mind after they are affected by the war and they are displacing. We are assisting them to, to talk about their experiences, to, to validate what they're saying, but also to help them to see it in a context so that they can uh, look to a more positive future. Uh, the war is started, so these two persons are running from the war, each one holding the arm. Yeah. These are Janjaweed, they are going to the war. This one is holding a flag, and this is holding a gun. Also, this uh, lady is holding water, and they are running from the war. These people cannot let us start our life as we want, or as we like, or as we wish. My name is Bakit Adam Ramadan. I am 14 years old. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am Murtah, 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 I am my belief is that there will be pockets of recovery, that there may be some areas that move along the line of more peaceful return, whereas other areas may actually deteriorate, requiring our zero emergency response, and particularly the Akaritas part, to continue to assist and respond. The foreigners can come and sit together and solve their problems. I think this is the only way for peace to come to Darfur. So for us, we must work hand in hand with the communities and the IDPs to see to it that they are also trying to cooperate, to bring peace. One day we are dreaming through you and with you that a peace may be achieved in Sudan. <laughs> Yeah.